Hello my soccer universe for the Serie A review of the past weekend. A weekend that is very was very much in memoriam Diego Armando Maradona. So I'm wearing my 0809 Argentina jersey with the number 10, which and it has only number 10 on there because I said it's Messi and Maradona, and this was a time when Maradona was also the uh coach for our Argentina. So I think this is a rather fitting um jersey for this tribute and a very similar one was worn, worn by Napoli um, and I will talk about that jersey of course as well uh, uh, in this video but before we go because that's more or less towards the end let's talk headlines the first headline is in the top clash Inter actually beat Sassolo rather convincingly are they back on track you were dropping points. Milan is extending their lead and Napoli with a proper tribute, beating Roma on all accounts, wearing a wonderful jersey for Neil. So those are the main headlines. As I said, let's go right into it. Um, Sassuolo Inter, I really was look, looking forward to, to the game because Sassuolo have been playing great, except for last weekend where they kind of won a little bit lucky against uh, Verona, who are also one of the all teams, that you always have to be on the lookout for. The Sassuolo defending in the first half was atrocious. I mean, the goal by Sanchez, assisted by uh, Lautaro, maybe Lautaro should have already scored, but uh, they didn't completely forget of Sanchez, so they clear but I mean, he's in the middle of the box. Three defenders are going on to on to, on to Lattero, and uh, he can uh, and Sanchez can put it in the box. And then uh, Ongo Bakirikes also very very bad defending. Inter fully fully deserving uh, that uh, two 0 lead. Maybe even with three a little bit later on, uh, you could see the Sassuolo. Yes, this is not a bad team. Uh, you could see that they uh, can create chances, but to to be honest. They never really had a chance. I think that at the time they were pushing a little bit. Gagliardini made 3-0. Done. Inter win that one rather convincingly. So Inter was convincing. However, Juventus was everything but. Yes, Ronaldo got a break. You know, he wants to score those Champions League goals, although Juve is already through. Uh, Morata gives them a one nil lead, but Benevento, who another team, playing nicely forward, uh, very uh, attacking. And this is kind of the many smaller Italian sides. And I th also think that Milan is trying to copy a little bit of that. They are playing now this modern style based on Atalanta, a little bit on the Red, Red Bulls. Because you see it also with uh, Verona. You see it with Sassuolo. You see it with Benevento. Lots of fun stuff happening in Italy. They get the equalizer. Letizia in the second half. Juve has chances, but to be honest, Benevento deserved that at that point. And then Morato is sent off right after the um, game ended stupidly because that will hurt Juventus as well. But Juventus without Ronaldo, what we learned so far, and he's not looking all that great. <laughs> um, Atalanta then loses to Verona at home in a game that was very, very even for most of the time. But then a penalty for Veloso tips the scale in Verona's favor and... Uh, they get a late goal then through Sakani. Atalanta had their ch ch chances, but um, you know, Atalanta is not is going through a little slump. I think uh, having played in August, not having a proper preparation for the season, uh, playing now in Europe, and the squad is not as um, as well built. You cannot just sub in, sub out that many players and now tiredness. And I think this will hurt Atalanta. I would expect At Atalanta to come roaring back in spring as they typically do. I mean, uh, fall is n was uh, rarely Atalanta stuff. Wow. Well, Lazio kind of definitely had their eyes already in a Dortmund match uh, where I think they saved their energies Maybe they didn't uh, play a full string squad. I mean, yes, if you look at the lineup, it, it looks all right. But on, on, honestly, um, they are also tired. Maybe we have a big game at Dortmund. So they lose three more at home to Udine. They were 3 0 down before Immobile pulls one back. Let's move on to Milan against Fiorentina. It was a very, very effective performance. Um, Fiorentina, not that bad. And maybe even controlling more the game than uh, you would expect. I mean, uh, Milan def definitely 
hanging a little bit back, but once, once they hit, they hit hard. With the first two shots, they scored the first two goals. It was a, a, a Romagnoli after a corner that Cassie then um, had to the Romagnoli who pulled, pulled it in the net. Then Fiorentina has a great chance where I think Vlahovic uh, takes shot that Donnarumma with his fingers just puts onto the uh, woodwork. And the right, come, 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 come back is um, yeah, a penalty. I mean, you needed uh, quite a few angles to see that this actually wall well, was a penalty that Cassie converts. Then I think Milan clearly had control of, 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 of the game and they could have made it 3-0 by Cassie. They get another penalty, which was more of a penalty. But Cassie misses and it was so, so fine because at the same time Lask was playing, they also missed the penalty, Milan miss, misses the penalty, so I uh, was not happy. And the other interest of is that in both games they only scored when the other team was not playing. Go figure. Anyway, uh, so instead of 3-0, I have it's 2-0, which I always think is a very, very difficult result because you don't want to hang too much back because if you give up a goal it might go the other way but uh milan hangs actually on quite expertly there was a huge save another one by don 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 Rue, where ribari is in front of him tries to lob him and with the hand he really got it off uh and then to, to be honest i think milan probably should have made it three didn't make make it either fiorentina again not playing that badly but they don't get the results and but it was a better showing than they had last weekend Milan winning 2-0 and with Sassuolo losing uh, and not knowing yet the Napoli-Roma re result, but we already know this went Milan's favor. Milan is ex actually extending their league on top of the table with this win. So, racking up the points, is Milan for real? Um, I'm still very, very cautious up there. I'm enjoying this, but I have to say this is a team that finds ways to win uh, in quite impressive fashion most of the time. Um, and you know, Slaton or not Slaton? Uh, I know if there's last Slaton, they have maybe more headlines, but now they keep uh, winning even without Slaton. And it did not look this disjointed, it looks like a team that is very well. And also, there was uh, no Benna Servos was playing, but you have Tonali. I think this team is very, very solidly built, a joy to watch, to, to be honest. Bologna Crotone 1 nil. Uh, Cagliari against Spezia was an interesting game. 2-2, uh, but I didn't see much of that. For me, it was all about Napoli, Roma, and the Maradona tribute. I mean, you had, first of all, Lorenzo Insigne coming out and putting flowers in front of a huge picture of Diego. Stadium is going to be renamed in Diego's favor. Uh, honor, not, not, not favor. So, uh, although there's a law in Italy that someone has to be dead for 10 years because before you can name something. So, let's see how that, that, that will go. For me, uh, that, that was already, you know, uh, tear-jerking enough. Uh, then, you know, the whole squad coming out and then they play in a Argentina-inspired uh, fourth jersey. That jersey is the best jersey that Napoli put out this season. Bar none. I absolutely lo love it because it has the Napoli colors. It is, but it also has this Argentina there as a alternate it's a beauty i want to have this badly i really when i saw this i want to have this badly and i've been internally discussing with, with myself if i want to have it since it has a blank back i need to have a num not number on there so who do i put do i put maradona he never played in that one so maybe not not the right thing so it should be insigne or mertens and i said well let's see how the game goes uh another trip of course the minute of silence as i said uh it was very emotional. It was very emotional. Uh, you could see Maradona is still very much loved in Naples. And the game went all. It was all Napoli. Now, uh, and I have to say it was also beautiful, again, beautiful church, church jersey matchup with uh, the nice Roma jerseys, the home churches in Napoli playing in these Argentina inspired ones, which I find also funny because the only time that I think Argentina played in the what is still the San Polo Stadium was at the World Cup where Maradona, you know, the semi final in 1990 when Maradona had the crowd not against him at least and Argentina eliminated Italy. So I, I thought there were lots of interesting storylines in there. As I said, the game Roma, maybe five, ten, ten, ten minutes were good in there, and then it was all Napoli and one Insigne with a free kick gave Napoli the one nil need. I think there was only ever one winner and Nanda should have led by way more in the first half. That free kick, I have to say the wall didn't look good. The keeper Mirante did not look good in there, there, there as well. But it was at least a fitting tribute. And I said, okay, with that, 
probably get an insignia on the back of that jersey uh, of the jersey once it becomes available. Tell you after the stuff. It was a little bit more even than at the beginning, but as soon as Fabian Ruiz uh, makes it 2-0 uh, and then Mertens does off one, uh, make it 3-0, it was done and Politano makes another Maradona impression, but just with a very tight ball control, uh, wiggling through the Roma defense and making it 4-0 all <laughs> great. So yeah, Roma, uh, Roma. I loses for the first time in a long time but i honestly have to say i have a feeling that it is also the weight of the game it was really napoli needed to win this one and napoli really wanted to win and all the unrest that they had after the milan game with this maradona death i think this got into the right uh, spirit i don't know how much roma fell over or how much napoli actually moved and said we need to win this for diego now, I just read, I mean, I've been refreshing a Napoli uh, web, web store the, uh, the last few days. I've made an account there. I know the shipping will be expensive and all that kind of stuff. And now I get the, the jersey will go on sale on the 10th of December. So if you want to have it, it's on the 10th of December. However, they will ship until February, which to me, yes, I want to have this one with Insignia on the back. But to me, shipping it there, uh, that I order it now, pay for it, and then I get it in February. This kind of is a little bit of a deal breaker and I'm saying, yeah, I'll, I'll hold back. I hope they will. And they also sell it for not the regular, they sell it like the, Euro, the European churches for 100, 100 bucks without any patches. So as much as I love it, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, gonna to wait. I'm going to go for different jerseys uh, in the meantime. That's how I feel about it. I really would love to have it though. I really, really, really would love to have it. Um, Torino and Sampdoria play out a 2-2 draw. Torino took a lead uh, or, um, in the mid, mid through the first half. Then um, Sampdoria threw Cantreva and Cagliarella turned around and late uh, made the get an equalizer. And the other Genoese team loses to Parma 2-1. Which means now that in the standings, as I said, Milan extend the lead and is now, this is the best chance that they had, had a winning a championship in a long time. And at this time, you have about a quarter of the season. You know, this table is telling us something already. Yes, Milan still has to play Juve, but they have already played Napoli, they've played Roma, they've played Inter. So I look strong. I still think a Champions League spot is the goal for, for, for the season. And if you can get the Scudetto, I mean, that would be a super, super nice bonus. Uh, but let's see. Napoli and Roma uh, switch this boss. Inter now, of course, moving a second. I shouldn't forget to get about the rival. Um, so I still feel that Inter is the team to that will eventually end end, end up with the Scudetto because uh, Conte cannot, cannot uh, mess it up that much. Uh, very, very broad midfield. Um, I think you can make a cut. Everything above Lazio is playing towards the top. Everything below uh, is trying to avoid re relegation. I think it's really a very nice cut there. In relegation, I mean, Crotone is picking up points. And yes, they have been playing all the big teams at home. So I think points will be coming their, their way. Genoa is a team that has been teetering on the brink of um, a re a relegation for quite, quite a few years. I wouldn't be surprised if they will eventually go down. Fiorentina desperately needs points. That's a team that should not be down there. I think... And I am not sure if Plan hiring Prandelli was the right call there either. And I also think that Torino should do much better, given the quality they should not be in there. Parma, I'm not so sure about that. So yeah, uh, it's quite uh, jarring to see those traditional teams being down there. In the next round, what's the big match matchup? Uh, let's have a look. We have uh, Roma Sassolo. I think that could be an interesting one. But you know, Sassolo just na da 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 is going down. Has Torino a chance to beat their curse against Juve? I think that will be interesting to see. Bologna trap game for Inter. I have to say, Milan playing away to Sam Sampdoria also a little bit of a bogey game for them. And then uh, the duel of the ugly sisters at the moment, Fiorentina against Genoa on Monday. Napoli Cortona is a southern derby could also be something interesting there. Well, that's what it was it from me for the Serie A weekend. Again, in memoriam Diego Maradona. Uh, and again, showing my Argentina jer jersey. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about this weekend. Give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel, we'll see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. 
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye.